Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts and predictions on the Japanese Fan Festival for Final Fantasy XIV. Now, for those who don't know, the Japanese Fan Festival will be kicking off December 23rd at 5.30 p.m. PST with the opening ceremony, which will probably last about an hour, talking about the new information for the expansion Stormblood coming out next year. Now, uh, for those wondering about translations, Marco will not be capable of doing a translation for this one because he'll be at Japanese Fan Festival. However, in the live stream, immediately following each of the onstage events, there will be an, a live English recap. So if you're someone who's purchased the stream ticket, you will get an English recap. Although usually with the slides, it's enough for us to figure out pretty much what's going on. That's just how it's been, even for live letters recently. So, a lot of people have been asking what I think they'll reveal in that opening keynote. We're not worried about the live letter for 3.5 Part 2. We're leaving that out. Just the opening keynote here. So, I've got some details that I wrote down from or typed for from the North American Fan Festival, and I'm going to go through those things, add some thoughts about things that, that I expect them to reveal in the probable one hour time block for the opening keynote. Now, even though it's not, you know, typed down here, I do want to say I think they'll talk about the jump potions live. If they don't talk about them in the opening keynote, I do expect those as part of the live letter, which is just three and a half hours after the opening keynote anyway. So uh, just as a recap, the level cap is going up in the expansion to 70. I don't expect they'll reveal anything. I don't think they'll talk about new skills for new jobs. Like, with a new level cap means new skills, and then show off a bunch of skills. I don't think they'll do that. I think they'll just remind us level cap, new skills, but they're not going to talk anything else about that uh, in that topic. We're going to Alamico. Uh, that's going to be the city-state that we're trying to liberate right now. That is our focus of the expansion. And the main antagonist will be Xenos Ye Galvis of the 12th Legion. We might see new art for these things, but I don't expect us them to go too much more into the story because we need to finish 3.5, Part 1 and Part 2, before we can really start openly talking about the story in the expansion uh, when it comes to these sort of reveals. So I don't expect them to go into any more detail on those two guys. Now, for new areas, I do have a prediction. I expect a trailer revealing in-progress work on all of the new zones. Now, they did this in the European Fan Festival for 2014, which was just a week after the North American Fan Festival. So, I'm assuming that this type of trailer is already available. And just as a recap, we were promised no fewer than the number of zones we got for Heavensward, so the same number or more. And, it, and just like in 3.0, they will be large zones. Sorry for that little clear in my throat right there. As part of the new areas, I do expect them to talk about new beast tribes and reveal at least one of them alongside their primal. So those are the first little bit of predictions we have here. Now, Ralgar's Reach is the main hub, and I do expect some more in-game footage. They kind of gave us some at the North American Fan Festival, but I kind of almost expect them to log in and actually walk around a little bit uh, like they did with Ishgard, but I think that that was a little bit later on. I would like that, but my prediction is we will see them get on a character and kind of walk around inside Rogers Reach. Maybe that's something they say for a little bit later, but we'll see. Uh, the fourth residential area, just to be clear, I don't think they'll reveal this until after 3.5 because they said it's very integral to the story and they don't want to spoil it ahead of time. New inventory, item inventory expansion, I don't expect any more details on that because they just told us that they're still getting all the plans ready for it. New gears and recipes, maybe we see some new pictures of that, but I'm, you know, I'm not too excited about that, so no real predictions there. Now, at the last... Fan Festival, North America, they had Yoshi P come out, and he had a shirt on that was the Scarlet Witch shirt, which most of us kind of know already means Red Mage. So, full reveal on Red Mage is a prediction I think most of us share when it comes to the, uh, when it comes to the Japanese Fan Festival, including its role and its primary theme, you know, what its origins are, you know, is it an Alamegan thing, is it uh, a refugee thing, is it just a new art from a different land that, you know, got mixed in with, uh, with the Garleans taking over the Alamega area, and it's from some other foreign land. They'll tell us here at some point. My prediction, it will be a DPS, and it will focus on magical damage using a sword. Game's first melee magic user, that's where my predictions lie for that one. I also expect a shirt teaser for another new job. It's either going to be a Tom Cruise shirt, that's Last Samurai, <laughs> or it could be Samurai Jack as well, or it's going to be like a step up shirt or something. Haha, <laughs> hashtag one monk, one dancer. No, hashtag two monks. I'm sticking to that one. Still hashtag two monks. So revamped combat system, uh, just to you know, restate the things that were revealed at North America, cross-class skills potentially being replaced with role-based skills. Skills that are considered mandatory for certain roles are removed from the class and job and are placed in a special set of skills that all players have as long as they're on the corresponding role. For example, making provoke, not a gladiator skill, 
but instead making it a tank skill. And all the tanks have the ability to cross-class that one skill. And it's freely accessible without needing to go out of your way and level another class. Uh, they're also revisiting old skills to see what they can prune and improve. I do think we may hear a slight update on that, that they're further along and they've started deciding what skills they're going to mess around with. And they may further clarify what they meant by that back in North America, but I don't expect them to, sh to flat out tell us what skills they're removing just yet. Their end goal is to have job difficulty be about the same as Heaven's Ward going into the next expansion, even after we've obtained all of the skills. Uh, it's, I do expect an update on this, I just don't expect a major update on it from the, uh, from the next fan festival. Uh, new primals, I expect that at least one will be revealed, as I mentioned with the Beast Tribes earlier. Likely two. One of them could be Doom Train. I think a lot of us kind of expect Doom Train going into the expansion. Whether or not there's something, if he's something that they open up with or something they do later, is still kind of up in the air. But with the Garleans having access to something called the Phantom Train, which is basically a train that uh, travels between the Castrums within Eorzea, something that's actually mentioned in the 2.0 of Realm Reborn story quest line, uh, if you're paying attention to certain scenes there. Um, I don't know where they're going to go with Doom Train on this one. I don't think he's going to be tied to, like, is a Beast Tribe going to worship a train? Like, I can't, I can't help but think that. But what I wouldn't be surprised is, like, a Beast Tribe almost um, uses the Phantom Train, which might be carrying a lots of crystals, and they sort of will that into existence as the Doom Train as sort of a means of attacking the Garleans. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me nearly as much, but I think Doom Train's a possibility for them to reveal. But I do think that if they reveal only one Primal, it will not be Doom Train. It will instead be something original to Final Fantasy XIV. So I expect, we expect one new Primal in the expansion to be original to Final Fantasy XIV. I think that one will be revealed at the Japanese Fan Festival. Now for the new raids, we still don't know about the difficulty thing. I don't think they'll have come to a decision on the difficulty thing. Uh, I think they'll probably by the end, by the time the expansion comes out, they'll probably stick to two difficulties and then do the third difficulty on odd numbered patches, uh, the super hard difficulty on the odd numbered patches. So that's where my predictions lie for that one. So we'll have progression for the raid in 3.2. It'll still be about the difficulty creator was. And then I think they'll do something more akin to Midas Savage's difficulty, maybe with higher uh, item level requirements though in the odd numbered patches. That's where I think they'll end up going with this one. Uh, as for the, what the raid itself is, I think we'll get the name and the artwork of the eight-man raid. I don't think we'll have much more for other than that, but I do think we will have the eight-man raid revealed to us. I don't expect the 24-man raid to be revealed to us until after 3. Point, I'm sorry, after 4.0 launches. Um, for new dungeons, just to reiterate, they said they wanted to have new original ideas, and they called them challenging new dungeons, and they wanted to put emphasis on the challenging part because they admitted that dungeon design was getting boring and they've been trying to spice it up a little bit with more interesting dungeon uh, visual abilities or visual effects like things like Zelfatol with the the boulders falling down or you know the the ads flying in from the other side you know things like that are very visually appealing but they said they want the they understand that dungeons need to get more attention they need to be better and so with the idea of challenging in mind, I'm interested to see where that goes. However, I don't expect any further reveals. I don't think they're going to tell us what the new dungeons are until the European Fan Fest. As for Eureka the Forbidden Land, I also expect little to no detail. So let me think back to Europe 2014. What did they reveal? They revealed the Vanu Vanu and the Nath. They revealed Bismarck and Ravana. They revealed Dark Knight. They teased Machinist. And I can't remember what else they did. I feel, oh, and they showed us all the new areas. They gave us artwork of the new areas. I really think that at the European Fan Fest 2014, they really didn't get a whole lot of new information other than the exciting new information about the Dark Knight job, which we already knew about. It was just nice to have it fully confirmed. So uh, I don't know. I don't think Japanese Fan Fest is going to be crazy in terms of information. If there's any room for them to add in new reveals, I think it might be in the area of Eureka the Forbidden Land because people have so many questions still regarding that. But I think that what I've got here is pretty reasonable considering they only have an hour for the opening keynote and they're pretty strict when it comes to their scheduling. So those are my predictions for the Japanese Fan Festival for the opening keynote. Tell me, what are you predicting and what shirt? Tell me right now in the comments section, what shirt is Yoshi P going to come out wearing? I don't care what job you want to associate it with. Don't be like, he's going to come out with a dancer shirt. Don't, no, don't say that. Pick a movie, pick a franchise, pick something for the shirt that you want Yoshi P to walk out 
onto stage and be wearing, although he'll probably be wearing something over it when he first comes up on stage, but eventually when he reveals the new shirt for the next job, what shirt? I'm banking on Samurai Jack or Tom Cruise shirt. I think Samurai Jack is a little bit more likely, though. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section of the video below. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for all coverage on the Japanese Fan Festival starting next week. But anyway, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.